what is going on guys, Rodrigo here, gonna go ahead and start you all with this week's training update. So, like I mentioned in the previous video, if I don't have time or if I'm not making the necessary amount of time throughout the weekdays to go ahead and post videos, let's say uh, one, one to three times a week, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a summary or overview video at the end of the week that uh, pretty much shows you everything I did the previous week as far as training. So, to start you guys off, um, last Sunday, I believe that was on the, let me make sure I get this right, the 28th, on the 28th, I worked up to a heavy triple with the Anderson squat, <clears throat> excuse me, and on Sundays, I, I do this to go ahead and help with acclimating to heavier weight, so throughout the week, I'm focusing on getting volume, total volume in to help me build strength, build muscle, right? But building size, building strength is not the exact same thing as getting accustomed to or acclimating to the heavy loads that you're actually working with in the future. So on Sunday, uh, I like to go ahead and do uh, pin squats or Anderson squats now uh, to go ahead and help me get accustomed to that weight so that way when I am actually testing or trying to rep that weight out in the future, it is a lot more feasible, it's lighter, and it's not a complete shock to my body. Now, moving forward to Monday's training, I worked up to about 372 pounds with the Buffalo Barbell, and as opposed to sticking with a low bar squat, I decided to switch it up to high bar because I wanna focus a little bit more on my quads and Due to the fact that my quads are my weak point when compared to my um, my hamstrings, my posterior chain, etc., uh, this is definitely something that's going to help in the long run, especially with powering out of the bottom of the hole, which is again uh, something that a lot of lifters have issues with. For me, my weakest point in a squat is at parallel. So figure out what your weak point is in a certain movement, and go ahead and hammer out that weak point with accessory training something I can definitely recommend to you all that you can start doing right now to help you get stronger. Now, moving forward, uh, I didn't record uh, Tuesday's training, but it was a heavy single followed by Anderson squats for volume at a lower intensity. And then you're looking at front squats. So this was Thursday's training. I worked up to heavy single at 285. Felt really, really easy. I believe it was around RPE 7. And then I backed off for some volume work two sets of five reps at around 265. Now something with um, front squats that has been bothering me is the front rack position is really messing with my clavicle region area because I actually have a bundle of nerves that goes, that's on the outside of the clavicle. It's kind of hard to, ex to explain, but needless to say, or in short, in summary, it, it hurts like hell. So I need to be a little careful with front squats, but overall they're moving great. Now, moving forward to Friday's training. This is test day. Unfortunately, I was running on three hours of sleep, a lot of stress from the week from school, so they felt a little heavier than I would have liked. And my hips were actually really tight as well, if you can tell. But 430, three sets of triples. I got it done. It was tough, but I got it done. Very happy with that. And now moving on to some other stuff, I haven't shown you guys deadlifts, I haven't shown you guys bench press, which is coming up as well, but here you go, 475 pounds for another three sets of triples after the three sets of triples with the 430 on low bar squats. Now again, these moved a little slower than I would have liked. Also, I forgot my uh, New Balance Minimus shoes and I was deadlifting in loafers, which I don't re recommend because I was slipping a little bit. So it's not safe, don't do it. Make sure you have all of your shoes, accessory, equipment, whatever with you. To cap off this training update, 290 on the bench press for three sets of doubles. And that's it guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize if this is a little rushed, but time is of the essence for me lately. So I wanna make sure I get something out for you all, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to drop any comments, likes, suggestions, anything, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Have a good one.